on. Okay, Jared, I cannot thank you enough for joining us this morning. Excellent information there. We're going to continue to check back in with our local National Weather Service partners and just see, hey, you know, what's going on on the ground. It's always great to get that perspective, Reynolds. Absolutely. Those guys are so dedicated. The men and women in stretching up into Wisconsin, Milwaukee, getting a good soaking this morning. We're seeing the same thing. Rockford, Illinois, uh, good soaking there. Look at this heavier rainfall heading toward Janesville. Kind of a spooky looking forecast, right? For Halloween. I like the spooky music too. Huge shield of clouds. That's going to keep you in some circumstances a little bit warmer this morning. Not going to be quite as chilly in places like St. Louis, Chicago, Cincinnati. Those clouds kind of tucking you in overnight, not allowing as much of that radiation uh, to that the heat to go back up into our atmosphere. So temperature wise actually a little better here. Let's talk about the rain. It'll be sunny this morning by the time you're getting up and later this afternoon by the time you're trick or treating in Kansas City. Look at the trick or treating though for Detroit. No bueno. You may want to get out early. Chicago, I think that your chance of showers is going to be pretty persistent. So maybe some waterproof uh, costumes for the kids. If you have anything, if you can put on a rain slicker or some rain boots on top of it, I think it's a great idea. Cincinnati, the same thing. Later on, you have a higher chance of rain. So I'd say go early. Let's look at our Halloween extremes. Now for Chicago, the warmest that you ever had for Halloween was back in 1950. It was 84 degrees, the coldest. And I'm sure a lot of you remember this, all right? All our friends that remember 1873, yeah, it was 23 degrees back then if you were trick-or-treating in 1873. Okay, the wettest 2.3 inches. I don't think we're going to get that wet. If you remember 94, uh, it, that was the record. The snowiest was just a trace, and I don't think we're going to have that either. Man, Chicago just a trace on Halloween. There are other places, Reynolds, that I know that had uh, much snowier times than Chicago on Halloween. Okay, let's talk about the fact that later is better in Chicago, but in some other cities like Detroit, etc., earlier might be better. So time it out appropriately. It, it iced back on this day 24 years ago on Halloween in Texas. I remember that clearly. Reynolds. Correct, Amundo. Crazy times there. No doubt about it. You know, the ice is always up in store as we kick off November tomorrow. Can you guys believe that? Oh yeah, that's tomorrow. Your average high in Minneapolis is 51 degrees. You're going to be 70 degrees for your high on Tuesday. It's like, you know, the summer that just keeps on giving. Essentially what's happened is we've seen that ridge build back in in the south and that's also making its way a little farther east. Uh, this little dip in the jet stream that was bringing some cooler temperatures, it flattens back out and that's what happens. See that ridge building in? Well, it also means that we have some changes in our weather for the west coast. So stick around because we have that forecast coming up in a minute. But first, highs 10 to 20 degrees above above average across the upper Midwest, stretching down into the southern plains. Not quite as warm, uh, or at least not as high above average, but temperatures still very warm. 68 in Sioux Falls tomorrow, 16 degrees above average. Des Moines is going to be 72. Chicago, 64 degrees for your Sunday in November. Can you believe it? Uh, Monday, not going to be cooling down at all. In fact, you're still going to be pretty warm. You might get some cooler temps in Bismarck, closer to average by the time you get to Tuesday with our next system. But ahead of that, 72 on Tuesday in Chicago, 18 degrees below, above average. If you're pl you know, planning a trip to Chicago, times to do it, I would say now. Like, just go now, maybe this weekend <laughs> before it gets too chilly. Monday in Burlington, 56 degrees. I would say this is some pretty nice leaf peeping weather. Maybe a little bit uh, too warm, actually, to see that beautiful color. New York, you'll be 69 degrees on Tuesday. That's 12 degrees above average. If you're heading to the nation's capital, uh, that's going to be pretty far above average as well. How about New York? This is what you look like. Your average high, 59 degrees, and you only flirt with it on Monday, getting into the lower 60s. Otherwise, you're staying well above average over 10 degrees above average both Tuesday and Wednesday this week, Reynolds. So, it, I mean, is it November? Uh, very, very, Will it be way, November? very, very odd to enter the 11th mm -hmm. month of the year. I mean, and as the kids are doing their trick or treating, oh, spooky music. See, that's all you have to say is trick or treating. And then cues the spooky music. Uh, I think you should stay mostly dry tonight, which is great. And maybe a light jacket would be a good thing to bring along with you, but I don't think that you're going to have to, you know, fully do the snow suit underneath the uh, Halloween costume like you do usually in the uh, upper Midwest. You don't even have to do that this year. It's actually pretty warm. Okay, so here's what the rain does tomorrow. So tonight, watch what happens. It creeps across Mississippi. Wet looking forecast for you there. If you're trying to go trick or treating in New Orleans, uh, any of the river parishes there, it is going to be wet, possibly some thunderstorms. By the time we get to uh, a little farther off to the east here, Kissimmee, you're going to be in the 80s. 
For Myers, the 80s. Gainesville, the 80s. But the question is, will you see center clouds? For Myers, will be a little more on the cloudy side. But Gainesville, I think you should be pretty sunny for all those trick-or-treating plans later on this evening. Okay, this is what happens. Watch. This low is going to track a little farther to the, sea, the east. That's going to push all that moisture from the Gulf into places like Atlanta tomorrow. So your Sunday, a bit more